today I headed off on a white-tailed deer hunt with the Seneca Double Shot. This air gun is a 50 caliber that can shoot shot shells, arrows, round ball, or bullets. It uses the action of the Seneca wing shot, but is configured with two barrels. The receiver has a barrel selector and dual loading ports. I took the double shot out recently for rabbits using the Air Venturi shot shell, and it did a good job hitting with authority. But the next step was to see it perform on larger quarry with other projectiles. That's how I came to find myself sitting at the airport waiting for a flight to Dallas, Texas. Good morning. Hi there. Uh, that bag is not going to fit. After a short hour and a half hop down, I landed and headed over to the baggage claim. I chipped my guns on in advance, so only needed to collect a suitcase with extra gear and clothing. Next stop was the DFW Car Rental Center with some unique statuary. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto South Garage Drive. I was soon in a truck and exiting the airport. A quick lunch stop and I was back on the road. Passing signs for jumping bucks and hogs that didn't make it. Near Ballinger, I left the state highway and drove down a dirt ranch road. soon arrived at the property. Salt Fork Ranch is a free-range low fence operation with a lot of game crossing the river bottom. I dropped my gear and parked about a half mile up the road, then hiked back to the blind. I climbed in and got sorted out, making sure that I had the camera up and could swing the rifle without knocking everything over. I settled in for the wait. It wasn't long before I saw a doe cutting through the tree line, but she didn't stop. However, it wasn't long before a group of does moved in. But it was early and I decided to wait, watching them leave one by one. It started getting darker and I watched the birds picking at the corn wondering if I should have taken the shot when I had the chance earlier. But then a couple more does moved in. If I saw a really nice buck I wanted to take him, but otherwise this was a meat hunt and the larger of the two does looked just like what I wanted. Watching her feed I waited for her head to drop and then I placed the shot low right behind the front leg. It was a solid hit and I saw her run about 30 yards before she stumbled. Walking in that direction, I found a pool of blood. 
and saw the dough piled up on the ground. Have one, but I really wanted to try out the uh, the double. This is the uh, Seneca double shot. Air shotgun shoots air ball, shoot round ball. I just took this uh, this dough with a uh, round ball. Thing important if you're going to shoot this with uh, with round ball or bullets. <laughs> remember to take off the choke tubes. I was sitting in there already, and I'm looking, going something's not right, and I went, oh yeah, I need to take those off. So luckily, I did it before I got my shot. Anyway. Last day of this trip, a uh, couple days left of deer season, but I can't stick around. Uh, I'm going to go gut this and drop it off at the uh, processor, and then I'm going to get on my way back to DFW. i got to fly it out early tomorrow morning. It's been a good trip. Uh, I was out here a while back. I used the Seneca for shooting jackrabbits with a shot, and I really wanted to see what it would do with both the, uh, the air bolts and also round ball. So got the round ball. we got one more to go. Maybe I'll come back next month and try a, a pig with an air bolt out of it. So. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Uh, please, if you like these videos, click subscribe wherever it is. Give me a thumbs up and keep coming back. Got some good hunts coming.